we will take a look at the comparison of Intel's Skylac processors the i5-6600K versus 6600. Let us see what that K makes a difference. Now, the one thing that you want to notice is this K suffix means it is officially overclockable part. It means you can change its the multiplier and keep increasing it till the point it works. You will need a special cooling and special voltage bump and things like that to drive the clock frequency higher and higher. This option is not available in Core i5-6600 and most of you uh, know this, but I <coughs> just want to repeat that, that that is what the, the one thing that will be missing from this uh, review is how high you can go in terms of clock frequency. <coughs> Both of them are quad core processors and they do not have a hyper threading enable. You will have need core i7 process to be able to do that. So, all it boils down is their clock frequency difference and normally looking at it you have a same base clock frequency 3.3 3, uh, same about uh, the same max clock frequency 3.9 gigahertz and slightly higher base clock frequency 3.3 gigahertz versus 3.5 gigahertz. So, if you are not overclocking, you should not see any significant difference between these two. The K part has a higher TDP to allow you to overclock it and drive the performance up. Now, if you look at this per price, you need to pay <coughs> like a 20 dollars extra uh, to get that performance. And other than that, both these process processors are same, they have same 6 MB of integrated cache memory. They come with, they now support DDR4 memory in addition to of course, the DDR3L at 1.35 volts. Uh, the integrated graphics is same for both of them, clocked at the same clock frequency. So, the integrated graphics performance is also same. So, all it boils down is to take a look at the real benchmark numbers and we have the pass mark scores for the two processors 7383 versus 7857. So, roughly uh, 500 of S difference on 7300, you can use a calculator here 500 divided by 7300 an approximate number it is not going to be something very hard. It is about 6.8 percent uh, park number, 6.8 percent of performance improvement and since these benchmark scores are uploaded by actual users, some of them could have overclocked this i5-660K before uploading their benchmark score. So, they represent the real numbers and then that you can <coughs> take as the some, some real numbers to look for kind of the performance improvement you expect. So, in a nutshell if you plan to overclock it, if you plan to use decent coolings, extra cooling, uh, special heat sinks and the i5-660K makes sense. Otherwise, you do not uh, see any significant improvement with respect to 660 and you want to stay with 6600 and save 20 dollars not much saving, but still you can use that to invest into a graphics card if you are in gaming. Hope that it helps uh, anandtech.com and other sites have some uh, real great uh, details of it if you want you can check those out, but I think that that gives you a ballpark number that you can rely upon and you can take a decision based upon that.